All right, thanks, Ryan. August is Gastroparesis Awareness Month, and here to explain what this condition is and how it's treated is Dr. Mara Sanchez, medical co-director of the Hartford Healthcare Neurogastroenterology and Motility Center. Good afternoon, Dr. Sanchez. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for the invitation. Um, gastroparesis is a condition when the ending of the stomach to the small bowel is compromised or is delayed um, and in the presence of no obstruction. Um, it's most common in patients that have diabetes mellitus or have some surgery. Also, in, uh, it, can, it can present some, some medications like narcotics or antipsychotics. All right. Tell us what are some of the causes of this condition? Some of the causes could be, as I say, diabetes mellitus or um, esophageal or gastric surgery. Um, also secondary to medications like narcotics and antipsychotics. And sometimes we don't know the cause. Um, um, what are some of the symptoms that people should look out for and know that they might need to seek medical treatment? Symptoms are mostly vomiting, worsening reflux, constipation, abdominal pain, malnutrition, weight loss. All right. And doctor, tell us about how this condition is treated at Hartford Care. So we we had a, a, a team dedicated to the treatment of patients with diseases. The treatment should be based in a combination of interventions and medications. Uh, so a, a group Neurogastroenterologists the um, in nutrition um, have developed certain guidelines of how to treat these patients, um, a, and we offer that at Hartford Healthcare Mobility Center. And Dr. who does this happen to most? Does it happen to more men, women, or is there a certain age? Tend to happen mostly. To, um, Women, um, is more, as I mentioned, is more common in patients that have long history of diabetes mellitus uh, or have surgery, uh, but there is a tendency that it's more common in women. And sometimes it goes unrecognized for years. As I say, the presentation is mostly a nausea, and vomiting, and non Sometimes patients presented just with worsening reflux symptoms, um, and it takes um, years sometimes before um, the physician is aware of what's happening or order the right testing to, to check for that. And when should someone know when to seek treatment? When over-the-counter medicine doesn't work or what, what should people know? Any patient that had nausea and vomiting that cannot be explained or worsening reflux should look for medical care. Um, this is not a condition that should be treated with over-the-counter medications. Um, is um, is you're having daily nausea, or weekly nausea, and vomiting episodes more than you know more than once a week or even once a month. You should be considering um, looking for the help of the, your physician or your gastroenterologist. All right, Dr. Mayor Sanchez, thank you so much for your insight. You're welcome. Thank you.